Hi everybody, this is Mike Norman and I'm here in the Proactive Newsroom with Jeff Ramson, who is the CEO and founder of Proactive Capital. Today we're going to be talking about Proactive's unique PRISM program and how it can benefit companies by bringing their message to literally millions of investors and customers, right? What, Correct. what is the PRISM program of Proactive? Thanks, Mike. So PRISM is an acronym that we developed. It's called, it stands for Proactive Integrated Strategic Messaging. And the purpose of it is really, um, and the purpose of our company, is to really integrate in the new media technologies along with the traditional uh, methodologies of reaching out to not only investors but other stakeholders uh, in our, or potential stakeholders in our client companies. So you're using uh, social media, you're using traditional media, uh, advertising, uh, television, uh, the wire services, et cetera, to bring it all together and to create, you know, to give your company's exposure, your Correct. client's exposure. Correct. Correct. We're unifying and integrating media uh, media channels for our clients. One of the one of the the, the, the principles behind Prism and, and 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 what we're trying to do as a company is it's 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 my belief that for small companies uh, that are that are addressing significant issues in the marketplace and m most of our companies are in the drug development or biotech space. Um, so they've got serious, you know, serious projects in motion. There are many, many stakeholders out there that exist that don't know the company exists. What is uh, now? I noticed that on your website. Uh, can you explain to the audience what the difference is between a stakeholder mm -hmm. and a shareholder? Sure, sure. It's it's a it's a very big important distinction. So of course, all of our clients want more shareholders. That's why they hire us. But it's my belief that the best way to get more shareholders is first of all develop a stakeholder community that's much larger than your shareholder community. Uh, when you're a small company, very few people know about you on a relative basis. So what social media does is it does democratize the, uh, your ability to d deliver a message. If you're, if, you're, uh, if you're innovative enough and thoughtful enough, you can create interesting messages that are helpful to the community that creates stakeholder engagement. From that stakeholder engagement, you can create buzz around and the company. So, so the buzz comes to you sort of from others Correct. as opposed to you trying to create the buzz from your talking about yourself. Correct. The most Interesting. The most valuable, the, most, the best validation you can get in the marketplace is others speaking on your behalf. So, I, and In fact, that's, uh, not to interrupt, but no. that's how search engines work, right? I mean, when other sites yes, link to you, that puts you higher in the ranking. So correct. it's sort of the same principle there. Exactly the same principle. The more, the, 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 the more relevant people that talk about you, the more value you're getting on the web and you're developing on the web. So that's available to anybody. You don't have to be a large you know, multinational corporation to, 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 to do that. You just have to have an intelligent message. And what we encourage our clients to, to do is share and educate via the web versus promote and sell. And it's kind of an obliquitous approach where you're, you know, to really target investors, you really want to go out and try to give value to the stakeholder community, which is much broader. And then from that, you're going to bring in investors and you're going to bring in journalists and you're going to bring in other potential uh, interested parties that may advocate on your behalf. Now, do you tell your clients that you need to have patience, this is going to take some time? Do they come in with an expectation that Wow, this is just going to blow everything right through the roof. Yes, they all want viral videos, and they all yeah. They, it doesn't they, happen like does, that. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen like that. No, I, I, they they all have. It's it's very interesting. Everyone has an, um, expectations that are really not that are not realistic. Um, it does take time. It, it's it's a lot of it's organic growth, it, but it does happen. You know, literally twenty four seven. You're once you're out there, you know, you can be attracting a community, you know, um, while you're sleeping. So it does take time, but it and and with some patience you know, you'll reach a tipping point. Do you feel that people are opening, like the, the level of skepticism um, is coming down and that, you know, uh, entrepreneurs and, and business owners, they're really seeing the potential in this now and they're moving towards it? Uh, absolutely. The level of skepticism has, has dropped dramatically. And um, so now, and now many companies are coming to us saying, okay, we know we have to be in social media. We need a strategy right away. And so that's encouraging from a business point of view. Uh, and it's great because it gives us an opportunity to really, you know, strategize and customize programs for our clients. Where it used to be that I'd have to go out there and really convince them why they should use social media. And uh, I think we're, we're not wasting a lot of energy on that. Now it's how do we, how do we go into the marketplace? Well, it sounds great. And that PRISM program that you have sounds like a wonderful program and really gives, I think, your clients an edge. Thanks, Mike. Jeff, thanks very much. That's it for now, folks. This is Mike Norman in the Proactive Newsroom. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.